Today on Q&A Mondays, we talk about repainting metal roofs. Can you do it? How is it done? What happens to your warranty? And more. This is another Q&A Monday on the Metal Roofing channel where we answer questions about metal roofing from viewers just like you. I'm here uh, back again and we're going to be talking about repainting a metal roof. And on my right, I've got uh, Mike Blake from Sheffield Metals. He's, uh, you might recognize him from episode one, Galvaloom versus Galvanized. And on the phone, I've got Kathy Bine from Valspar. She's the warranty and claims manager there. Thank you both for being on the episode today. Kathy, let me, uh, since you haven't been on the show before, I want to ask you to tell me a little bit about your industry experience and uh, what you do at Valspar. I've worked for Valspar for 35 years. I've had, um, have had several positions, obviously, throughout those years, anywhere from a QC manager to scheduling and being a chemist. Most recent position that I'm in now is a warranty and claims manager, which has been about nine years now. Okay, great. And in this particular topic, um, your experience will definitely uh, lend a big part in answering because, like I said, we're talking all about repainting a metal roof. And this topic comes from a question on YouTube from uh, user Tim Gatto and Tim asks I've seen references on the internet to repainting metal roofs this isn't done with present-day metal roofs is it even 40 years from now the color wouldn't fade enough to make it advisable to repaint a metal roof installed today so let's start with the short answer here Kathy can you tell me can you repaint a metal roof at all yes you can we do it quite often actually if we have a claim that we've accepted when the chalk or fade has exceeded the warranty limitations, we will have a, we'll hire some approved applicators and that they will paint it and it looks fabulous. What are some other common reasons to repaint a metal roof other than a claim? First and foremost is probably the homeowners just change the scenery. They want to upgrade their house. Maybe they want to move or maybe the neighborhood's growing in a different direction and they just want to kind of blend in. Um, you may have some corrosion or some other issues that happened to your roof panels, and this is just another way to fix that issue by repainting. So it sounds like um, it can be really twofold. If there's a problem with the paint system, you know, over time, or if it's it's just strictly aesthetic and the, the homeowner has a change of taste or there's some, some other um, reason down that road. That's correct, yes. And we have that question quite often. And we had, I had one just the other day where someone wants to paint a logo on their roof. Hmm. And that can be done. And you use the same same type of paint and everything when you if you want to repaint a whole roof or just just a, a logo like that. It depends. Uh, some actually use stenciling, and um, you would want to go see a local paint company and get some ideas as to what would work on their roof. Because hmm. typically, you know, as you for compatibility reasons, you'll probably want to prime it first and then top coat over it. How about the paint in general? If you were to repaint your entire roof, let's say you wanted to go from blue to uh, green or something like that, would that paint be the same type of paint used to originally paint the metal? That would be the best case scenario, yes. However, some paint companies do not have their own filled applied coatings, so you'd have to use a, a different brand. And just to assure adherence, like I said, you'd want to prime it first. Um, but you could go to a local hardware store and some of them have some great paints on their shelves, actually. That's a question I've heard before is, you know, will uh, an air dry paint respond the same way to the elements as the original coating? It will to some degree. Obviously, the, the original coating has much more durability. It um, has better chalk and fade resistance. But there are some top quality products out there that will work um, longevity wise. You're talking maybe 10, 15 years. If you repaint a metal roof, what happens to the original warranty, the original paint warranty on that metal roof? It will be voided. Now, that's where some cases where a homeowner knows their warranty has already expired. And that's another avenue as to why they want to repaint it. And I guess if it's a claim, then that, that doesn't really matter. Correct. Yeah. The warranty will still exist for the duration of the original date of the installation. Right. And Sheffield will work with Valspar, for example, in re resolving the claim and, and coordinating the paint vendors to come out on, in the field and apply it. Yeah. So, Mike, can you talk a little bit more about that? What happens when a 
you know, there's a claim, and, and how do you deal with that with Valspar in tandem? Well, usually we'll go out on the site, you know, if it's involved with the paint company and the paint vendor that painted the product, we'll go out and assess the situation and work together to resolve the claim. And uh, in terms of if it does need to be post-painted, we, we strongly re recommend paint vendors that do this for a living. We work with Valspar to get approved vendors from that area, and we'll coordinate that with Valspar. Can a building owner paint their roof themselves, or is it recommended that they hire someone? I personally would say they need to hire someone. There are a lot of factors involved with different paint systems, and you got tip sizes, you got weather conditions, you have um, temperatures fluctuations, and you have to be you have to have some knowledge behind there, be, you know, before you start doing such a task. I'm not saying a homeowner couldn't do it or a building owner could not do it. It's better to just spend a little more money and have it done correctly. And this isn't like painting the walls of your house. It's it's your metal roof and you want it to last a long time. So using a professional Correct. is the way to go. And not only just having the knowledge to do it correctly, but as a safety factor alone, um, there's, there's big considerations there. Absolutely. I mean, you first you're going to have to power wash your roof anyway. And the contractors we hire actually do that. They do the whole process. So the homeowner would have to do a power wash. And if, you know, you're talking about slippery roofs, you've got steeps, you've got slopes, you've got all types of scenarios that it can be a dangerous situation. Having the necessary fall protection to safely mm -hmm. do the work. Too. Yeah. Yep. Right. Because a lot of these roofs require a harness or a lift to actually get to the peaks and et cetera. So I, I just think it's much safer to do it with a um, contractor. Can you repaint a metal roof in all types of climates and environments? Sure. Um, you know, like in the south, let's say, it's very hot. Those roofs can get like 20, 50 degrees warmer than the air temperature outside. Mm -hmm. So that can cause an issue as far as blushing, on, you know, or it, it, the paint's curing too fast because they heat. So in the colder climates, you can do it as well. You just got to be careful with dew. Um, the moisture content out there because you know obviously it doesn't get as warm and you've got a short window of opportunity to have it recoded with a roof that's like let's say it's a really large roof do they can you paint it in stages or do they have to paint it in stages if it's if it's very large and how does that affect the overall um, coating of the of the roof you can do it in stages i mean typically like when we do a primer and a top coat we prime one day, do the top coat the next. Okay. Um, you know, there, you might have a rain day, and so the painters can't continue on, so they just come right back to it once it's, the weather's passed. And no, you, you, a contractor knows how to eliminate lap marks. I think that would be a difference when it comes to a homeowner. So if I'm a homeowner and I wanted to hire someone to repaint my metal roof, what are some considerations I need to keep in mind? How do I prepare? What's that process going to be like? Well, most likely the contractor is going to do all the prep work themselves. They're not going to require the homeowners, typically. Um, you might want to tape off your windows or uh, cover your plants. Um, certain areas where you might get some dry spray or overspray coming down on your, you know, your grass, and et cetera. But mm -hmm. the contractors we hire are very professional. They take all precautions to make sure everything's done correctly and that there will not be any issues for the homeowner. They also have to use their water, their electricity. They should be aware of that. Uh, like Kathy said, you should take the approved suppliers that have done this on a regular basis mm -hmm. and know what they're doing, not just somebody that has never done a job either. Right. I know some of the, like a hardware store or a paint store somewhere, they have uh, contractors they know who are qualified, and they probably would be more than willing to share some of those names for bids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point, too. And you might want to get references to see some of the work that's done if they have done it in mm -hmm. that area. Yeah. And uh, can you call your manufacturer, too, to get recommendations there? Sure. Cool. I don't see why not. Yes, as long as, you know, they're in the repaint business or they have the experience, there's, they would recommend some people. Absolutely. And, Kathy, you kind of touched on this earlier, um, but is the new paint uh, as robust or durable as the original coating that was on the metal? It's not as robust, I should say. The, the color is going to be the same. It's going to, the sheen. It's just the longevity of the recoat itself. 
and it depends on the paint system you use. So if you've got a 40 year warranty on a cured applied coating, you're not going to get that on an air dry. And cured is the original uh, paint. That's how it's originally applied. Correct. It's uh, yes. It was baked on. Yes. When, when it goes through the ovens, it's set, let's say 700 degrees, you know, Yeah. and it's getting baked applied onto the metal. And obviously yeah. that gives you some more hardness and durability on the original coating. Yeah. And that's what Sheffield does through the different coating lines. Okay. For, that's the original purchase will be. And then the air dried will be the backup. Right. And I've got uh, one more question here. Um, mm -hmm. Can you touch up sections of the roof instead of repainting the whole thing? If there's, if, let's say if there's an issue. Yes. Um, I will say depending on the issue and the size of the issue, touch up on just certain sections of a roof should be done with caution because it will not chalk and fade the same as the original coating. So if you don't want, you just want little scratches you want to touch up. Very small quantities of paint. I've had several where they they did a whole 36 by 42 panel, just one panel, and it looked like a tiger stripe by the time they were done within two years. And, and yeah, I, I think I've seen some photos where um, there's been just patches where they've uh, touched up with paint and it comes out looking very splotchy over time. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It has a little polka dot effect all over the roof. They have to be careful with that. I mean, granted, I know you want to preserve your panels as long as possible. But when you've got large areas of damage that you're trying to fix, you might be better off just getting a new panel. Right. All right. Well, Kathy, I want to thank you very much for coming on the episode today. And thanks to Mike Blake again. Be sure to subscribe to the Metal Roofing channel to stay in the loop for new videos. We post every Monday and Wednesday. Comment down below for any questions that you'll have for future episodes. And we'll catch you next time.